So I sat down to make a video for a ketogenic diet, and once I did, I realized that there's so much information, there's no way that I can make like a five minute video. But I understand that people have times where like they have five minutes, but maybe not a lot of time, so I, I'm just gonna split this into different videos. So if you wanna know the first one of this series, it was what is ketogenic diet? And I explained that it is a high fat, low carb, lots of protein and veggies diet. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of, cause I'm on a roll right now, I'm just gonna keep going with it. And I'm gonna tell you what you can eat on a ketogenic diet. So when I when this got first introduced to me, and I was thinking 70% fat, my immediate image was like, let's chug some olive oil. You know, like what how do you eat 70% fats in your diet? Like that just that just blew my mind. So let's get into like first like just specific things, I guess. Let's just go. First of all, I don't know if I said this in my last video, but I'm gonna say it again. I did not want to do this diet. I was on paleo, I was like, no, like I don't need that, blah 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 blah. And James, like he usually does, he goes on the diet, he tries the new stuff, and I'm like, hey, you're looking pretty good. I guess I could do that. Huh. I could do that too. So get it. Um, I was I was hesitant, but because I wanted to get off medication for anxiety and depression, I decided to try it because that's what it said. It was helpful for your brain. And then I realized like I'm addicted now because I have such high energy levels and all that jazz. So I've been talking too long. I'm gonna put you down because that's ridiculous. Um what you can eat on a ketogenic diet to increase your fat. So you're going to get rid of things like crackers, pasta, bread, pop tarts, strudels, chips. Oh, by the way, veggies, they're not corn, they're not soy, and potatoes. That is way too starchy. Even sometimes like squash and zucchini is too starchy. So you need cruciferous veggies. I can make a whole other video on what are cruciferous veggies. Don't need artichoke. I don't know the hard way. Blew myself out of ketosis. Okay, I'm going to blink again. Really? You're going to attack me right now? Mm-hmm. So the, um, oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. No, I can do this. Avocados. Because <laughs> I love avocados. That's a great source of fats for the body. Olive oil and avocado oil are great for salad dressings and to help with the cruciferous part as well as for the dressing portion. You don't want to heat these because it messes them up. Again, let's not get into the science. Just trust me that it doesn't work so great. And then things you want to cook in. Fats would be ghee because it has a higher smoke point than butter. And you want to do both grass-fed, organic, always because of the hormones and chemicals and things that they put in the cows end up in the milk, right? And then you can also cook with lard or bake. We like, really? We like to cook <laughs> with bacon grease. Uh, we don't have like super organic, healthy bacon. I'm sure it exists. If you know of a brand, let me know and I'll try it. And then um, we also cook... Like if there's like duck fat or pork fat or whatever we have, we'll cook in animal fats. So this is not like super vegetarian friendly. You can do a ketogenic diet and be a vegetarian. I would recommend being a pescatarian. So that's another source of fats. Salmons, uh, we eat a lot of salmon. We eat um, very, there's a couple of whitefish that are a little bit higher in fats. Mackerel is one, but it's kind of hard to cook with and I have a hard time finding it. And then bass, I think it's the other one. You think I would remember off the top of my head what fish I get, but I just know what bag it is and what aisle it is in Costco, and I just grab it, and I've forgotten what fish. I did all the research, and then forgot why I sat down for this video. So those are sources. So um, you want to eat bacon. Not a whole, like, bacon isn't the purest form, but it's a very great way to transition to this diet, because who doesn't like bacon? And then uh, grass-fed organic beef, uh, pork of any kind uh, is beyond bacon, <laughs> and then um, fish sources. But try to get high fat fish, not lean fish. Just Google it on your phone real quick when you're at the store and look at what they have and just go with it. That's how I initially started. And then um, eat a lot of seeds. So if you want baked goods that are bread like, almond flour is amazing. Coconut flour is amazing. Coconut flour is a little bit higher in carbs, so be careful. And then there's flax meal, which is which is a great like kind of like oatmeal kind of material or it's, I use it in graham cracker crust for my cheesecake. Mm -hmm. That was how James actually talked me into this diet, was the fact that I could eat cheese. He's like, paleo, you don't eat cheese. And I was like, you can mean I can eat my Tillamook again? Because I eat Tillamook, just like, I just cut off the block and just eat it. <laughs> like, I freaking love that stuff. It's not organic, it's not all perfect and like, blah, 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 but I don't care. Tillamook is delicious. So that was a big part of the reason why I decided to do keto, because I love me some cheese. Um, and I feel better. I feel satiated and that. So you can eat dairy. It can bloat you, especially if you're not getting the good, high quality product. Uh, but because you're going to be eating less, you end up spending the same amount on groceries, in my opinion. Because when you're on um, a diet that encourages carbs, you're going to have like a lot of fluctuations throughout the day. And you're going to snack, you're going to eat more foods. 
when you're on a satiated diet that has a lot of fats in it, you're going to be so full, you're only going to eat like once or twice a day. You're not even going to want more. You're not going to have cravings. You're not going to have all those nasty benefits. So um, just to recap real quick, so uh, meat products that we like to eat are fish, especially salmon, and then we eat grass-fed beef, we eat pork, and we eat um, bacon specifically, which is in its own little fabulous category. And then we eat lots of seeds and nuts. Pumpkin seeds are a great source as well. And then um, almonds. Don't eat cashews. Those are too high. Don't eat peanuts. Those are too high in carbs. Read the label. I will teach you guys how to read the label. I will like, put a little thing right here and talk about it if I need to. And then, of course, cruciferous veggies, which I'll make a whole other video for if you want one. And dairy products. And then the oils. Oh, yeah, coconut oil. Oh, my gosh, MCT oils. <laughs> I can't forget those. Coconut oil is a great thing to cook in. It's a great thing to bake with. It's sweet. And it's got amazing health benefits. And then if you want more, like, sort of bread-like things, I like to cook with chia as well. And I cook with hemp because it has, um, these are more like if you're vegan or vegetarian type of, like, proteins, but they also have fat in them. Uh, the hemp is great. And flax. I'm going to stop rambling now because... I want it to be like a structured, amazing video. So if you want to see more quick tips, please follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or just subscribe below because I will be here at least once a week. And this is an extra video because I missed last week because we got some family stuff going on. And that's a thing. That's a thing. So just because you want to be healthy and on a high fat diet doesn't mean that you're going to be deprived of carbs and things like sloppy joes and mac and cheese because guess what? I have a recipe for that and I will show you because I'm not going to live a deprived life. That's not how I roll. Subscribe. So you don't have to live a deprived freaking life. Things are weird today. Just no cut off cats and more to be lost. Bye! Subscribe. See you next time.